Hi everyone. Thought I'd shoot a little video this evening about uh, the life support systems of the 1100 gallon. So about, uh, oh I don't know, a month ago you may have seen the video of the fish that had passed away. We had a power outage and I had no idea and it was just in the garage so the circuit breaker had tripped. Um, the problem was I had no idea that it happened. So these guys went almost uh, you know, 18 hours without oxygen, the air pumps. I'm gonna kinda show you, I have a big air pump and it powers everything. You can see those bubbles going to the surface. They're hidden nicely behind um, those driftwood pieces to create a nice effect, but there's three of them that produce a nice you know, steady stream of oxygen and surface agitation. So, I needed to figure out some solutions. So here's what I've done. Here's my little control station right here. And you'll see those are my main pumps there. Uh, and there's this little box called Level Sense Pro. And I'm gonna get to that in a minute, but basically it's a device that's connected to the power and it's um, wireless internet. So this is my I also added a UPS, Universal Power Supply, um, which is connected. And what happens is, you can see, let's see right there, that's the plug that goes to the air pump, so it's on battery power if the power shuts off. And, uh, you know, and then this goes to uh, the rest of the um, stuff, such as the level sense. So, I figured, this is my, this is the main plug for everything. So let's just give this a, gr a go right here. I'm gonna pull the plug, boom. And here's what you're gonna hear. You're gonna hear a bunch of things going off. So what's going on is the battery uh, backup has kicked in um, and the level sense is gonna start to chirp in just a second. And I'll show you, even though all the power is off to the fish tank, including the lights, Let's see if I can get a good picture because there's some other lights in the garage. The bubbles are still going, all of the, uh, the air pump's still running on the battery. And typically, I did some calculations and it should, um, it should run for probably about a couple hours before it runs out of battery power. So, while we're waiting, again, I'm waiting for this level sense to kick in because once the power goes out to it, um, for more than you know, a, a little you know, a couple minutes or so, the, it realizes, oh, I'm out of power, and it's going to start chirping. And there it goes. So you can see there's like that red alarm. It's going crazy. And so the fish are just cozy. They're in there. They've got their oxygen. And they're doing fine. So if this was a real power outage, you know. I'm not too stressed about it but if it's a power outage and I don't know about it that is a problem so what I'm waiting for right now is on my phone we should see I'm just still waiting this uh, level sense thing I can hear it if I'm in the house um, it's a really loud alarm and that's the battery backup but while we're waiting you can always watch the fish swim around And here we go. So my phone is here with me. I'm actually using another phone. And so I just got a text message. And it says, Level Sense Alarm. Fish Room has come back online. That was, that was the last one. The most recent one. From right now. It's saying, The Fish Room has an incoming power failure. So it'll tell me. It'll text me. That's a text message. This device will tell me um, if the room has no power which is a very nice feature especially if I'm not at home and if I don't pick up my text which I almost always do um, I do also it will also send an email to my email address it does both it sends a uh, text and it sends um, and it sends email so I think we've done enough right now I'm gonna restore the power we're back on business uh, you know, level sense goes back online. Battery backup, the UPS doesn't change. Everybody's happy. 
nothing's really like nothing's a big deal um, and again here's my inbox and you can see that I just got one um, that there's been a power failure now the, also the nice feature about this is and it will come in a minute but when the power is restored uh, when so when the power I just turn it on it's gonna text me again it still has to connect to the wireless internet but once it does that um, it's gonna come back online so there's the Bacordi and the NGT and this bass guy so these guys are no worse for wear everything's good and here we go I just got another message so you saw that one at 538 when I shut off the um, the power and now at uh, a little bit later alarm has been resolved so I really I'm really happy that I got this device and it's been um, helpful I haven't had any power outages recently um, there is one other feature that well, there's a couple other features some of them are for float valves and you know power failures and all sorts of stuff and I don't know if you can see it it's very dark but this um, this white cord right here it runs down to the ground and there's actually a water sensor so if the sumps overflow or it gets too wet it's also going to send me an alarm that says that you know the water you know water has been detected so I think the thing costs about 150 bucks on Amazon and so far so good I really like it and uh, I'm really hoping that I you know can avoid losing any fish due to something out of my control like a power outage or anything like that so thanks for watching my video